Google just released its cloud data analytics certificate, so which one should you take? People have been talking about the Google data analytics certificate as being kind of overrated for a long time now, and with this new option directly from Google, it's safe to say that things have changed. In this video, we'll do a detailed breakdown and comparison of these two certificates, and I will show you which one is the best for you if you want to become a data analyst and actually get a job fast. So the Google Data Analytics Certificate really does not need an introduction, but I'll just catch you guys up in 15 seconds so that we're kind of on the same page. It's a beginner level course at six months at 10 hours a week and eight different courses to help you become a data analyst from zero. It's incredibly popular with over 2 million enrollments and it's kind of the course that people think about when they hear data analytics in the first place. And you'll work with spreadsheets, SQL or structured query language, R programming and Tableau. So four kind of main skills in the certification. Now, what about the Cloud Data Analytics Certificate? And this one is also beginner level, but it takes only two months at 10 hours a week. And it's a five course series to help you become a data analyst, specifically focusing on cloud data analytics. And that's basically what it is. You'll be a data analyst, but you'll focus on cloud computing or working with data in the cloud. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services over the internet. And this could be a Google Drive where we store some documents. And the reason why it's so effective and why companies do this is because companies like AWS and Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure, they focus on delivering these services so that other companies can get exactly what they need when they need it. And they don't need to build everything themselves. And they only need to pay for exactly the capacity that they actually want and they avoid a lot of hassle and they can just get what they actually need really fast. And as you might guess, cloud is rapidly growing and employers are actually looking for these skills. Now the course itself is going to first focus on an introduction to data analytics in Google Cloud, which is Google's cloud computing platform and it's also known as GCP. And then we'll move on to data management and storage in the cloud and then data transformation in the cloud and then storytelling and visualizing data in the cloud. You'll create data visualizations, design dashboards and generate reports and finally you'll do kind of a capstone project to help you prepare for jobs it's kind of like a final project that you'll do at the end now this course is actually similar to google data analytics in many many ways and they are kind of teaching you the same fundamental skills the main difference is that they're applying data analytics specifically to cloud computing and the courses, they do teach you how to store and manage data. They teach you how to transform and to make data useful for analysis and to solve business problems. And they talk about data visualization. So many things kind of overlap between these courses. But now let's talk about the differences because that's why you're here. And yes, there are many differences to consider before picking one of these courses, or maybe you want to pick both. We'll see. So the first difference is about the actual course itself. And it's way shorter and you are going to get a less comprehensive learning experience. On the other hand, some people did complain that Google's initial course was too slow and not that practical and could be more hands on. So it's likely going to be more efficient as well, which means you'll have more time to spend doing projects or just learning the important skills by practicing. The other thing is the actual skills and Google's original data analytics certificate covers spreadsheets, SQL, R programming and Tableau. And this cloud data analytics course is very new. But if we do take a look at the actual skills, we'll see that SQL is going to be covered as well. And data visualization is also covered, which the other course uses Tableau specifically for. But it does also focus more on specific cloud tools from Google, such as BigQuery, Dataplex, Looker modeling language, and more. And these are things that you don't get in the traditional data analytics certificate, except for some BigQuery, if I remember correctly. But I can't find any programming. So if you do want to learn R or Python, you may not find it in this course. But again, you can learn these on the side. It's completely reasonable since this course is so much shorter at two months instead of six months. So you'll also have way more time to learn things on the side. So I wouldn't really just focus too much on that. My final opinion about this new course is that it is a great option if you want to learn data analytics as long as you want to focus specifically on cloud and it's a rapidly growing field and these skills are in high demand and it is still a very new course so we'll see more as the time goes on but it's by google so i don't really think it's a problem it is shorter but regardless of which course you take you'll kind of have to supplement your learning on the side and it's still a great way to progress and these courses are top rated for a reason and the question that you might have is could i take both of them Yes, absolutely. They do overlap on a few things, especially on a high level, but they also cover things from a different perspective, which can be very valuable as well. I'm going to leave a link to the course in the description, including any free trials or ongoing discounts at the moment, which you can check out if you're interested. And thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.